this beast. I, want, I gotta get over there. Look at that engine. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Hey, thanks for taking me out for him to adventure. I'm Jim. My wife Vanessa has to work today. And there aren't too many ladies that are into cars. But we're going to make it interesting for everyone today because it's not just about muscle cars and music. This is where I know my wife would love to be here. Vanessa loves these old Volkswagens. I think it goes back to her time in high school. And this one with the trunk with the suitcase up front. That is so cool. Remember these guys? These old lanterns? Oh man. And nope. Not for sale. Ever. You see, this is more my jam right here. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is like almost mint 69 Chevrolet Camaro. I wonder if this is for sale. Huh. This thing has the original windshield wipers. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. You talk about original, this thing doesn't even have an A track in it. Just, just AM FM radio. I want it so bad. <laughs> Of course, I could settle on this jam too. Look at this, look at this, look at this. And the white Dawala tires too. Seriously, this is one of those kind of events that would drive me crazy. I'm in love with everything I see. The other reason I'm here today is this, the State Theater. This is an icon of Elizabethtown, Kentucky, which by the way, ironically, is the same town they used in the movie Elizabethtown. Look these old ticket booths. That. How awesome is that? Two, please. You know, I got to admit, having these classic cars out in front of the thing is just so cool. Look at these cars. This is one of those kind of days if you are a car lover, you wouldn't want to leave. I think I might have actually gotten inside. Got to get permission because the theater is not usually open for events like this, but I'm hoping. Love this mural too. There's different stages of Elizabethtown through the years. The first movie that was shown here was The Fleet's Inn, starring Dorothy L'Amour and William Holden. Forty years later, the theater closed in 1982 with the last showing of E.T. Guess he had to phone home. Something else that's open today is the Hardin County Museum. This is going to be fun. Starting off with a little bit of Kentucky history. This is for those of you who want to freeze the camera. I love all this. This is fantastic. I just love history. I don't know about you guys, but I get so involved, especially in these kind of models that show the days gone by. Got a little diorama set up of what it was like to live in Hardin County way back when. Nice roaring fire. Oh, baby's asleep. Gotta be quiet. Shh. Look at this. Oh, mom. Oh, sorry. I didn't, didn't. I thought I, thought I was alone. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. It's going to be kind of a quick tour through the Hardin County Museum because I get to tour the State Theater in like 15 minutes, but I wanted to bring you guys in here to show you what a rich history Kentucky has. It goes all the way back to the Victorian era. Look at this dress. This is fantastic. On this clothing and look at this. Look at that. Oh man. I love this kind of thing and I just found a keyboard. I like playing keyboards myself every now and then. And that, that is what you call antique my friend. Mary had a little, little, little. Sorry. I <laughs> I can't get it to work. I was going to play a tune, but okay. Is this Bonnie Parker? Sure looks like it, doesn't it? Look at that hat. Yeah, I remember that gun mall from anywhere. Just so you know, that's not mall as in, you know, where you go shop. M-O-L-L. -L. I remember these TVs. It took like forever to warm up and they were black and white and it would take at least a good five minutes before you ever got a picture and then it would be fuzzy for about the first two or three minutes but finally cartoons i've got a lincoln theater room that we'll check out some other time but i don't have time right now i really want to show you the state theater i really wish vanessa were here she'd like this kind of stuff too 
<sighs> so much different doing it on my own. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't even say hello. Got to get a look at the wall of pictures just because they are so cool. You don't see great vintage pictures much. There's a couple I'm looking for that I can't find. And you would think that in the history of some of these things, there would be pictures in somewhere, but no. There is really a lot to see here. I just don't have time for it all. Man, it's, a, it's almost overwhelming, actually. It, there's just so much. But according to the Royal Crown Thermometer, it's kind of cool in here. It is a nice day outside. Which means I should probably be getting back outside or to the State Theater before they think I'm not coming. That was cool. There's not many museums that'll let you go in for free. Of course, you can leave a donation if you want to. Oh, look at this beast. I, want, I gotta get over there. Look at that engine. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. It's a parade. What a cool parade it is, too. Look at this. We've got military on here. At least it looks like it. The old clock on the wall, it's about time for me to get back here. This is not original, to let you know, but I do have some original, like our letters. Those are our original monarchy letters. Okay. Look at these, I'll show you these. These are cool. So it's not the original counter, but it still looks pretty darn good. Ah, uh, look, original letters. Look at this. So, this is how it would say. In Technicolor which back then was a big deal. These are the original letters from when the theater first opened. Um, you can't, we can't use them today because you can feel they're quite heavy. So if yeah. they fell, um, they would hurt somebody. Could you imagine those letters falling? Some of the They tried to match it as best they could, but this is the original floor. Wow. Um, even after being vacant, you know, we were opened in 1942, closed in 1982. It was a continuous movie theater for uh, 40 years. And then, um, it closed and set vacant and reopened in 2009. So it was in pretty bad shape when they came in to start doing the renovations. These are the original doors, um, not the original hardware, but the original doors. Okay, now the ticket, now the ticket booth, right? The ticket booth. Ooh. Yeah, it's so perfect. So at one point, if you can kind of see how the window is, this is, was the men's bathroom. Really? The women's is on the other side. So you can really? just imagine. I can show you the women's because it has the original tile and everything. Um, so this is where you stash the letters. Yeah, this is where we do now. We just move them down here. Okay. There is the original safe. We don't know how to open it or what's in it. Really? Yes. The original safe. <laughs> but a lot of people say, is that safe still there? Could be, yeah. is it like Disney's vault? It you open it up and yeah. all those golden movies come out? Yeah, but I mean, look at it. Isn't I know, cool? it's cool. The original cash drawer. This is the original ticket booth with that. the original cash drawer. Isn't that cool? Wow. So just some other... I don't know what they used to put in these drawers, but... Secret things? Secret things, tickets. This is the grand entrance. Oh. So in its heyday, um, this was not a wall. You could just see it. Um, these are the original cases. They've just been refurbished. We can walk inside. Look at this. 1942. Now look at the floor. We had a, a vent here, and we're doing cruising, so we sweep everything to the center. Oh, that's okay. Look at this artwork on the side. 1942, it cost $100,000 to build this. And it's still a viable theater. They've got concerts and occasionally show movies. Of course, the balcony where all young people like to sit, <laughs> or at least I did. 1942 and still going strong. What year is this? Um. I, I would say it's probably the 50s. Wow. I'm not sure, but it is the original one. Apparently, um, Mr. Pate, who had Pate Motors, which was right next door, acquired it, and then I think it was donated or, or purchased for the theater. Now we get to go upstairs to the projectionist booth. This is where all the magic happens, all the mystery. It's such magic. If you ever went to the movies and you saw the film going, you didn't think about the guy that was sitting up in his booth having to make it all happen, changing reels, Maybe three times. I always look to make sure there's not pigeons. The the fumes would, you know. Gas powered projectors. Gas powered projectors. Yes. Wow. I Couldn't leave them alone. That are in storage somewhere. So this is the bathroom. That <laughs> if you turn on, if you were the projectionist, you couldn't leave the room. Well. Because. Well. You can't leave. Gas powered yeah. projectors. And this is what makes the magic nowadays. Not a yeah. projector, but 
What is this? Just a, pro it's a projector. Projector and it's of a different kind. Too, just a basic. Just like a home theater system, really. DVD. Yep. Watch DVDs. I know. It's DVDs. Crazy. We're going to the movies to see DVDs. I think yeah. that is so cool. This is the view from the balcony. And if you come here, you don't have a bad seat anywhere. And in the 1990s, the city of Elizabethtown actually got together to try and restore the state because it was dormant for a while. The city got it together, it became a, a 501c3, and now it's public property. I can't believe they actually let me in the theater and look around. It was nice of them, they didn't charge me either. One last look before we leave cruising the heartland, downtown Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Can you say Bumblebee Chevelle? Bet you can. This one is for my wife. <laughs> I think this is the one that was in our drive-in theater video. There can't be two this color. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten you Rat Rod fans. Check this out. <laughs> I love this. What? Dual quads? Spittoons? Look at this spider web welded on the front and on the headlights. This, this guy's, is a rat rod. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, got a tiger in his tank. Okay. I had some fun. Hopefully you guys did too. If you like today's adventure, give us a thumbs up, all right? And consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. Oh, and speaking of subscribers, thank you to all the subscribers we gained over the last month. It's amazing. You guys have just overwhelmed us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you know when we make a new video. Oh, and don't forget, adventure is as close as the next off-ramp. for sale right everything's for sale for a price okay uh, I'll tell you what I've got my entire collection of garbage pail kids since 1977 I'll, I'm willing to trade I, I, love, I, I love them but I'll let them go and, and that was a good try but nothing's that is not what? for uh, that's not a good trade are, 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 are you saying no uh, but, I'll it's say everything life, has man. a ha everything has a price. It's my life. It, 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 well, it, this, and this car's my life. Oh. Okay, okay. I, <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll see your point. My entire collection of garbage field kids. It's my entire collection. No. Okay, this is what I need right here. Right there, you got everything you need right under your butt. Of course, they got vendors like every other event, and that's a port of potty, so yeah, you can go to your heart's content.